Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to, missed, <laughs> I'm going to change the uh, stem. So, I do you believe they are 5mm hexes, Allen keys, hexagon keys, whatever you may call them as. So, first thing I'm going to do is take the handlebar off. So I need to undo these front two bolts. That one out, and I'm going to completely remove this front um, cover cap or whatever you want to call it. I'm surprised the handlebar hasn't actually moved yet, and the whole bike hasn't shifted. <laughs> Seeing as I'm doing this one hand, right, so I'm going to hold that, just pull that off because, uh, oops, thought it would. Oh. I will need to um, probably set you down in a minute because that is actually stuck on there. Right. Yeah. Right. Hopefully that's just going to sit there just for a moment. What I'll do, hopefully, I can uh, get you in. Yep. Now. The next step, I think with this type of threadless, I can just undo the two bolts here. Which again, I think, they're five, yes, sometimes they are six mil, so just be um, aware of that. Some have six mil bolts, some have um, five. So let me do that. One. Think. Yep. Unlike other threadless, um, where you have to remove the top cap, you don't on this one. Because this is basically a threadless adapter that goes into a large threaded steerer tube. That's actually a threaded steerer tube. Hence the nuts at the top there. So, we've got the old one on. Because I want to put a black one on. Literally slide that straight over like that. Make sure nice and straight. And I think, yep, this one's a six mil. So we have our six mil Allen wrench. And just crank up these. Make sure it's as straight as possible. I'm making sure it's in line with the tar. Make sure I did this up nice and tight. No, I didn't. Still a lot of play in there. There we go. That's better. A nice six mil as well. Yep. So I'll take these off at the front here. And the other one. Throw it all on the floor. Excuse me, all in the moment. If I can now just pull that one off. Bar in there, this cover over. Hopefully, I can line the uh, bolt holes all up. Get that one started by hand and get the other one started by hand. Should line up, get them lined up nicely. Get the handlebars into the position I want them. I actually saw a bike earlier that had the handlebars upside down. Um, but he was also walking with a walking stick, so I don't know if that was to help with his riding, maybe. So I thought I'd never seen a mountain bike with handlebars upside down before. But, uh, I'm, not the t I'm the sort of person that doesn't judge. I'm sure there's a reason behind it, and after all, it's his bike, so, you know, that's how he feels comfortable riding, and knock yourself out. I'm just saying when it comes to um, people that customise their cars 
There we go. Let me just crank that down like that, and that is done. Simple. So now you know how to change a stem, at least a threadless stem. And like I said, for a normal threadless steer tube type on here, where you ha actually would have to take the top cap off. Um, that's the only difference between this type and the other type, that you'd actually have to take the cap off first before you can take the stem off. But uh, apart from that difference, uh, easy enough to do. So, thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Um, put, the, put the trigger shifters on straight might be a good start <laughs> anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and uh talk to you again soon bye bye